up youtube it's your girl olive aka ollie back at it again with another video i want to thank you guys for the support the tune haul has been going crazy with views welcome to all the new subscribers thank you so much for all the support thank you for the support on the video with my mom thank you so much man keep on liking the video subscribing I've been noticing that a lot of you guys that are watching the videos are not subscribed. Like 80% of you guys. So please like, comment, subscribe. Take a second right now. Stop what you're doing right now. Like the video. Subscribe to the video. Leave a comment down below. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank you guys again. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the amount of love that you guys have been showing. So today's video, we're going to be making a basketball planter. Um, it's going to be a DIY because let me tell you, these planters go for like 50. They range from like 50 to like a hundred dollars, depending on the size. I'm going to be making a small one, the little mini basketballs. Um, I'm, I'm going to be making just one, see how this one turns out. And then I'll see if I want more. Um, I'm going to, I want like a little floral i want like i want like a little garden section in one of my like shelves that i'm gonna have for my room since i'm taking you guys on this journey of this little um redecorating my room as you can see like a lot of the two moon hall was just me it was a lot of like decorating pieces so i'm just gonna take you guys along and you guys are gonna help me do this on a budget because we got no money to be wasting no fifty, sixty dollars for a basketball planter, and then they don't even give you the plant. So of course, you're gonna need a basketball, any size. You can have the mini one, which is a size three. Um, you can have a big bas basketball if you guys want. You're gonna need scissors, or you can get like those little uh, knives that they get. It's, I think it's called an exacto knife. The, or a blade or a box cutter whatever you guys want to use and then you guys just need a plant <music> get all your stuff you want to come home and you want to put your basketball in the middle and you want to make sure before you dry it out you want to make sure you're in the middle so you see how the ball you want to make sure you go around and you look at where the nike checks are so the way i'm gonna do it is have this little candle cap it's a little bit bigger than the plant so I'm going to use it as my shaper. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to turn it around. When you go around, you see how it's a little bit uneven on this side and it will eat up the sign. You want it to literally be in this middle part, this region right here. So then when you put the plant in, it will literally, you would just see both Nike checks, but you see how it's a little bit more to this side. You want it to literally sit right in this middle part right here and then you just want to grab it could be a permanent marker if you feel like you're an artist i'm not really an artist so i got one of these expo you could get a washable marker or whatever you feel best with and you want to trace it and then we'll go ahead and do the next step after i trace it
Well, then after you trace it, it should, it should look something like this. You know, it's not the most perfect, but it is a DUI. DIY. Oh, my God. DUI. You hear me, you guys? I'm intoxicated already. I'm kidding. Um, but it's a, it is a DIY, so um, it doesn't have to be perfect. At the end of the day, I am saving myself money, and it is for my room. So just saying that I made it, it's just, it's just better. On to the next step. Slow. Next step would be to start cutting this around slowly. So I started cutting it around slowly. And I'm seeing that it's not working for me. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use a box cutter instead. And then I'm going to hit it with the scissors. So I ended up being able to get it up a little bit with the little scalpel that I ended up buying. So I'm just going to end up going around and cutting it the rest with scissors. Now what I'm trying to do is just go around the line that I cut. I kind of want this to be perfect, so that's why I'm trying to make it perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, so. You guys can go ahead and do it how you guys want. So then you should have a nice little hole. I always wanted to see what was in the inside of a basketball. It's just a dark hole. Now what you want to do, if you want to, you can go ahead and if you use a washable marker, you could go ahead and clean out the residue. Or now you can go ahead and insert your plant. So guys, I ran into a little problem. I thought it was supposed to fit perfectly, but it's definitely not supposed to look like this. You see how it's like lifted up with that big chunk? It's not supposed to look like that. So tomorrow I'm going to head to the store and see if I can get another plant. And we'll continue it tomorrow. I think we have a deal. Let's go. Secured the bag. So I'm back from the store and I was able to find a plant. So I'm going to use the little thing that I used to trace as my holder for this. It's not going to be the permanent holder, but it's going to be the holder for now. And I'm just, he's just going to place it in there. And that's how it looks when it's in. It's completely in all the way to the bottom. Um, You can put it. Uh, like up at the surface but I kind of like it while it's all the way in I'm gonna insert pictures of it how it looked when it was a little bit higher but I like it like this as you can see the planter is done I'm gonna give you guys a little montage so I hope you guys enjoy the little montage I'll see you at the end of the video <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video guys oh my god this video was a roller coaster i just want to touch up on what i said in the beginning of the video all right so the video that i the tiktok that i watched in the beginning i should have done more research before i literally just jumped in and i thought that i knew what i was doing okay so what you're gonna need is you need a basketball and it's better to just get a nursery pot that's what they call them. It's literally called a nursery pot. You could get any size. It depends what kind of basketball you get. Um, if it's a small basketball, it's a four inch pot. Um, you could get it off Amazon. 
I try to get it in the store like Lowe's or Home Depot and they really don't have a pot that small for the nursery pot unless you get like a small small plant but then to trace it it might be a little hard to find so if you guys want and you guys are planting on or you're planning on selling them or anything like that you might want to get more or a big pack they sell them on amazon i'm insert a picture right here and show you the exact pack that you guys can get it's gonna be right there um i think it's like about 15 dollars. also they have it on two moon if you guys want to test your luck and order on there like i said if you guys order on two moon two moon a lot of their stuff comes condensed so if you guys want to take the risk and order it it might come crushed so i if you want to take the risk and order it, you guys can do that too it might be the cheaper option if you guys are on a budget um you're gonna need a basketball the blade that i bought it was the right blade. I just didn't know how to put the blade correctly. I'm telling you, I'm not an arts and crafty person, but I got the job done and I did it. Um, I think it came out great. I will be making probably another one sooner or later. I think I'm gonna find a different basketball for sure. Um, but definitely guys, um, it, it came out really nice. If you guys wanna do it, I advise you do it, but definitely do your research. I did my research a little too late in the video. Um, so I spent a little bit more, but I definitely did spend under the budget. So I never, I didn't never, I didn't hit the $50 mark. Um, I did have to buy uh, two plants, sadly, but it's okay. I'm definitely gonna use the other plant that I bought the first plant that I bought in the in the little garden area that I'm going to put on one of the, my shelves. So I just I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next coming up videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'm out.